Hey guys, Jeff Goldtrap here in Nashville. Look forward to helping you out and answering any legal questions you might have. And so here's a legal question that came up the other day. What happens to a case that's been dismissed for failure to prosecute? Great question. Here's the answer. When a case is dismissed for failure to prosecute, that doesn't mean it will never, ever, ever be back again. You see, for example, let's, let's say the classic case is a domestic violence. Uh, there's an argument and fussing at apartment 3C of the 123 building, and the police are called because there's a concerned neighbor. Uh, the police are called. They come to the door. They're met by the lady of the house who appears to be crying, and maybe she may have a black eye or something like that, but she's upset. And they come to the man of the house, and, and he's upset, and he may have scratches and bruises. And the police determine that he's the primary aggressor. They take him into custody and they give a witness a subpoena to the young lady. And the young lady decides never to come to court. And so the state of Tennessee, when I represent my fellow who's the, uh, the defendant, and when I say, is the state ready? And the state says, no, we're not ready. I say, judge, I'd like to dismiss the case. Therefore, the case is over, never to be heard from again. Wrong. The state of Tennessee can then directly present, it's called directly present the case to the Davidson County Grand Jury. Now, if you live in Robertson, Sumner, Rutherford, Dixon, Cheatham, any of our other counties, they will do the same thing. They will simply directly, they can, not that they will, they may or may not, but they can directly present the case to the Grand Jury to get an indictment. And with that indictment, they would simply arrest you again. Hey, what's more fun than going to court one time? Going to court, you know, going, what's more fun than going to jail the first time? Going to jail the second time? They will simply arrest you again. Now, Jeff, how many times does that happen? Well, you know, enough to, that you see it. Uh, many, many cases are, if they're, if they're, if the state of Tennessee is not able to put on their case, if they've got to dismiss their case because of failure to prosecute, many times that's, that's all you'll ever hear of it. Sometimes, though, they will continue to prosecute their case. And I've had those cases go on into criminal court. So you would be arraigned and then brought into criminal court. I hope I've answered a question. If you have listened to this and said, now I'm thoroughly confused, hey, write me, send me an email, send me a text message, give me a ring. I'll be more than happy to answer anything I can for you and help you out in any way. I'm Jeff Goldtrap here in Nashville, and I want you to go out there and make it a great day.